I got your attention. Come on in here, people. Come on in here. I've got something to talk about. Chris Proudfoot and Katie Proudfoot. They are innocent, and I have uh, I have a reason why. Do you want to know? Come on in. Give a couple more seconds here. Subaru Steve live in the beautiful resort. Your place to escape. <laughs> the resort city of Virginia Beach. Right now, I'm at the uh, Norfolk uh, International Uber Lyft uh, driver waiting area, and I thought, you know what? Let me go live. It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. But more importantly, I'm. I'm drawn into following the Sebastian Roger saga, and uh, I woke up this morning and I thought, you know what? What if, what if Katie and Chris Proudfoot are innocent? Think about it for just a second. What if, by whatever means, method, or way, somehow another, between midnight and 6 a.m., Somebody got him. Katie didn't know she was asleep. Come on, stick with me here. Chris didn't know he was asleep until in the morning when Katie called him in a panic, right? What would the neighbors in the neighborhood do? Would they really be forthcoming with all of their video if they thought, if they already found Chris and Katie guilty? This is America. We have a court system. We have a way of doing things for a reason. By saying somebody is innocent until proven guilty, you do not force them into hiding. Have we done that? Have we forced them to get in their RV and go to a trailer park and then eventually go trailer park to trailer park? And why did they put the Proudfoots right up on the main road of that trailer park? I mean, what if these people are innocent? We've already convicted them. Everything I see online tells us why guilty. You know what? When that young lad, that poor, poor boy at 15 vanished the first week, don't you think that law enforcement did everything they could to either find Katie and Chris guilty or to rule them out? We're six weeks out now. How many camera uh, recordings exist from six weeks ago? So all we have is whatever they got at that time. And I think the law enforcement is smart enough to go, you know what, we need to go to every camera. We need to start locking down a 30-day 30 30 day supply of videos for people to see. You feel me? Sebastian Rogers, man, I don't know how. I don't know who's feeding him or clothing him or taking care of him. I sure pray someone is. I sure pray that he's found. Now people are turning on Seth. Come on. What if these parents, all three of them are innocent? And all they have, because law enforcement can't find out anything, all they have to do is point fingers at each other. Man, did we stop that finger pointing by all of us, a nation, pointing fingers at them. Chris, Katie, you're innocent. Until you're proven guilty, you're innocent really what I wanted to say. I got it off my chest. That's my life for today. And you know what? Thank God it's Friday, folks. Even if you're Chris and Katie and you're under such pressure right now, it's Friday. Take a breath. You need a friend? Text me. I'm a texter. You can easily find my phone number. It's on my .com site. It's just about everywhere I go. I'm live every day. Imagine if all of you out there not you super 10,000 plus subscribers, 50,000 plus subscribers, but just the everyday person. Went live every day for 60 seconds. I got choked up just then. That'd have been something. Subaru Steve dies live at the airport. Wow, no, that wouldn't have been something at all. Not at all. Anyways, folks, have a great day wherever you go. Whatever you do, like me, do it in your Subaru. Make other people smile. There's nothing wrong with it, and if nothing else, you'll make somebody else smile. You might smile in the process. Have a great day, folks. Where you go, whatever you do, like me, do it in your Subaru. I'm high-fiving out at Subaru Steve Montgomery of SubaruSteve.com and YouTube fame and blah-de-da-da -da and blah-de-da-ba.